Hello and welcome to this video on HTML5. In this video I'll be covering how to force a download. So as you can see, if we look over in our index.html page, it's just a very basic HTML page. Um, it's HTML5, even though we don't have the doc type set up. Um, and you'll see that we've got a head section, we don't really need anything in there. Then we've got the body. And inside the body section, we are just going to add an anchor tag. So a href, and then we're going to just do download.html. And then from there, we have one attribute to do, which is going to be download is equal to true. And the reason why we haven't downloaded is equal to true is if it's so that we can force the download of whatever page it links to. Now, normally, when you have a HTML page, it will load it up in the browser, and I'll show you that first, actually. So, leave that there, and then just do... If we download a page inside and close the anchor tag, save that. If we refresh this page, you'll see we get a link. And inside our download.html page, which you need to create, I've just got the same setup, but inside the body tag, I've got a simple um, simple statement just so we can see that it's a different page. So if we refresh and click on this link, you'll see that we go straight to a simple download.html page. And if I open up here, you can see we've got download.html. So now if we go back, and we add that download is equal to true. Refresh this page and click it. You'll see that we get the page downloaded. And if we, um, okay, that's something I don't know. Um, whatever value you put in here is the name that the page will be called. It will not be called what it was originally called. It will be called whatever value is inside of here. So you can call this just by having it saved as download without any attributes and it will download it as download.html as you can see there but if you put an attribute or you put a value to this attribute rather so if I change this to 134 then we would and we re-downloaded this page you'll see we get 1234.html so the way that this works is if you want it to have a specific name you can set that name within this area that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and, and thank you for watching.